Ships of House Casido and House Kellerman had been blockading the world of Thurman for a long time. Escaped slaves of both houses had made a home of the planet, and both empires wanted them back. A planetary shield generator had kept them both out, but a devious plan by House Casido utilizing members of the Rebel Alliance had brought the shield down, and they were all making their move. Their goals were to land shuttles on the planet for the ground assault, and to gain orbital superiority. To determine who would win this battle, we played a massive game of X-Wing. You can see the initial formations on the board. House Casido is on the left, and House Kellerman is on the right. The ships in the middle are the rebel operatives as they escape. They didn't mess with anyone, but they did serve as obstacles for the battle. These are the ships we used for House Casido. They are all the same except for two command ships, which are the white ones. The command ships have a higher skill rating, so they're going to move last and shoot first. These are the Kellerman ships. They are a little more fragile and maneuverable, and their larger ships are more maneuverable than most medium-sized ships. Because there are so many fighters, we simplified the rules a little bit. All Casido ships would automatically use the targeting action, and all the Kellerman ships would automatically use the focus action. The command ships on the Casido side and the medium ships on the Kellerman side would be the only ones that could choose a different action. They would also move last and shoot first. Since Casido was the house that brought the shield down, they have the initiative. So their ships in general would move before Kellerman, and shoot before Kellerman. You might notice where we made some mistakes on this. Remember, we were doing a huge battle and we tried to get it done in one day. Their objectives are to gain orbital superiority by destroying each other's ships, and also to get their shuttles onto the planet. Either player who gets their shuttle onto the planet will have an extra unit in the upcoming Legion's Miniatures battle, which we'll be playing when it releases. Okay, everyone ready? Here goes the fight! It begins with both lines of ships charging each other, and the Rebel operatives are sliding out of the way. Both sides have escorts of four ships with their shuttles, which are turning down towards the planet, while all the rest of the ships clash with one another. They begin to cross, and the first shots are fired. Some hits are being scored, and it looks like a lot of Casido ships have ganged up on the Kellerman medium ship. Casido, meanwhile, has sent a few ships swinging wide along their left, which is the top of the screen, and Kellerman has sent some of their ships away from the main fight to attack the Casido shuttle. That's on the bottom left. And now the Kellerman medium ship is been blown to pieces while their shuttle has made it into the planet's atmosphere. The Kellerman ships, meanwhile, are really ganging up on the Casido shuttle. And now the Kellerman shuttle has made it to the planet's surface, and its escort is starting to turn towards the Casido shuttle. And they won't even be needed because the Casido shuttle is destroyed! Kellerman is already successful in their first objective. They will have extra units in the Legion battle. Additionally, they have more ships in that skirmish that's happening near the bottom of the screen. Near the top of the screen, Casido is dominant, especially because they had some of the ships swing around the top, and they've come around behind a lot of those Kellerman ships. As you can see, it is a real tangle up there. There are so many ships that they're having trouble maneuvering. There's a lot of damage being done, and oh, there are a bunch of ships blown up there on the bottom of the screen near the planet. It looks like it's mostly Casitos, as there are only two of them left down there. The top of the screen has more Casito ships, but they're taking out fewer of the Kellerman ones. They've just been successfully maneuvering. Casido is sending two of their ships down to help with those ships near the planet, but it looks like it's going to be too late. The Casido ships are getting blown up there, and it continues to be a cluster fudge up where there's the larger mass of ships. Just as the two Casido ships are coming down, their last ship near the planet is destroyed, and now it winds up being again two Casido ships versus four Kellerman ships. Up at the top though, Casido continues to be dominant, but they're having trouble hitting the maneuverable Kellerman ships. And there we have a couple more gone down, and the two Casido ships that came down near the planet are starting to be successful. They're taking down some of those Kellerman ships, against all odds. But then those Kellerman ships rally and take out the two Casido ships. They're heading up to what was the larger mass, but it looks like the Casido ships have wrapped up the Kellerman ships that were up there, and now it's just gonna be those four Kellerman ships near the planet, near that whole mass of Casido ships. And shots are firing and you're seeing a lot of casualties there. And now it's all coming down to the remaining Kellerman ships. I only see three of them in the middle of that mass of Casido ships. They each take one more casualty, which works more in the favor of Casido since they have the ships to lose at this point. The Kellerman ships line up together into formation, which puts them in a perfect targeting position of the Casido ships. And one of them is taken down while the other one takes damage. And as the commander swings around to get a shot, two of the other Casido ships take it out. And that is it, that is the last of the Kellerman ships. That means Casido is successful, and they now control the orbit of the planet. So Thurman's orbit goes to House Casido. Who owns the planet, however, is going to be another question. When Star Wars Legions releases, we will have a three-way battle. The slaves will have one unit, House Casido will have two units, 
and House Kellerman will have three units because they got the shuttle onto the ground. Or we may do points depending on how the game is, but whoever wins that battle will dominate the planet's surface in the ongoing Star Wars campaign. If you have no idea what we're talking about regarding the Star Wars campaign, such as if you're watching us on the Command Combat Battle Report channel, check out the series RPG Storytime Star Wars on Bandwagon Games. Hope you enjoyed the battle, and happy gaming everybody!